our, our second level is the is the different footwork that like we were doing today about uh, fair lady works the shuttles and stuff okay so when you're doing your push hands and we've gone to here and we kind of sink and then we come back and the other one presses right and you turn and you kind of sink so your next level on that is when you're pushing here now the person is going to pivot here and then they would they would have this lock down and drop down to here okay and I'll show you what the other person is doing in a minute so you're pressing toe comes up and you pivot in and we're sinking right and that's kind of where we always left off and the other person was going to push out that way so it wouldn't take them off balance right right okay and from here just like fair lady works the shuttles you come up and you pull back and that's dropping that down into that direction okay you want to try so when I push pivot turn you always want to sink your weight on that, and that helps me go downward. Now, now stepping back. It stays right there. And then you pull down right there. Right. Okay. Try it again. So from here, press, turn. Yeah, you get that sink in so that you're already down here. Take the person in. One more time. You're already there before you step. You're kind of out. If you push, go ahead and push. If I come here like this, and I already go like this, then I had no place to go when I step. Uh -huh. I see what you're saying. See? So when I come here, I stay right here. I'm sinking. Then I step and press. See? That's what's going to give me the leverage to pull the person off balance. So press, turn, sink, down. Now step. Yeah. Right, see there's your just like a throw. Okay. Um, uh, the other push hands on the circle, you were talking about that earlier. Did you want to get that on? Yeah. The gathering the essence expressing the chi, so you begin with whatever hand you want. Take off. So gathering the essence expressing the chi, moving from the knees, right? Just one hand first. So I jump in here and just jump right in with it. I can leave. See? It's like the double dutch thing, right? Okay. So as soon as he presses, I jump in and I press. And he's, I'm not moving. Oh, I just, I you're gonna stop and get to See, so I'm just hanging on here. I'm making him do all the turning. That's to put them on the outside? Uh, I mean, at one point. <laughs> yin Yang. Switch position. Okay. Right. Well, if we switched right there, see? That's right. One hand, the person doing the cur has to hook. The person uh, who is doing the actual technique right. has to hook. So if I want to wrist. switch and have him do it, then all I do or he does is go ahead and snake around, and now he's right. there. Because he's got a hook. He's the one that hooks the wrist. Right. Whoever's gathering the. So right here, if I want to change, I see. See how quick that deflection is. So if I want to change again, right. So if you're there <laughs> now, now you're leading. Watch how. I, bless you. Watch how I switch back and forth. Stay right there for me. I come here, and then I can just keep coming, right? So it's the snaking idea to either here. So there's the snaking idea of it. Okay, so I snaked here, and I begin this movement, and now I'm in control. And then you snake. That's it. All right. So here. Okay, and you. Yeah, okay. So that's the way just to switch who's in and who's on. Mm -hmm. Now, we're pressing that way, gather up with that arm, and, ex and express the chi with two of them. Take off. I'm just going to hang on to one right now. So see how this is working? Mm-hmm. I'm not moving. Unless you, you, I'm getting the, uh, I'm messing up a little bit. I got some really good pictures of sweat dripping off yeah. your face. <laughs> okay, so I jump in. Push, pull, gathering the essence, expressing the chi, gathering the essence, expressing the chi. Now, what if we wanted to switch? This hand is snake. Okay, go ahead. Snake, there, snake. Okay, think about it. Okay, so if you're gathering the essence, then you're going to have to be inward. Oh, there you go. Expressing the chi. Okay, gathering the essence. I got it back in so long. <laughs> 
So that's all that is. Gather assets, expressing the chi, and you just kind of jump in with the other person. And you're either leading or following, and you'll know when you get in there who's cradling who. So if I cradle up here, whoever's on top of me, I'm the leader. So I'm holding them up. Um, the, difference, the only difference in the push hands footwork is where, again, you kind of see the benefits of Bagua and of, of even of Taekwondo if you can learn the turning. If you applied your, the way that you turn and do spinning heel kicks in Taekwondo, it would help you in this because you're ideally supposed to turn and pivot, right? And bring the leg up and then kick, mm -hmm. right? So like you were saying, Bagua seems to just continue to roll around the person. So let's say he comes in to just a punch or whatever. They might come here and here, hit here, turning here, boom, boom, and they're walking, walking circles around you. The same idea. So with every spin, I'm getting an elbow shot in, elbow, elbow, elbow. So I'm just working this circle around. I can switch that. <coughs> so the idea of moving, I either, I'm either turning here, turning, boom, elbow shot. Right here is Fair Lady Works the Shuttles. And it can spin me around this person. See, where I can just keep hitting and attacking and run. So you just kind of spin around. So your next level after any leg, whether it's coming in here, turning here, or the other direction. So right here I turn inward, right? In here. So I turn inward and step back. So the same thing would be on this side. I would turn inward and step back. So I can throw that person this way, whichever way I end up. <coughs> That's the reason it becomes so natural and fluid. So attacking, here, see, boom. You can lock them into there. You just meld with them. That's staying right there by the side. What if I wanted to go all the way around, you know? But, okay, so again, here. So I would slap here, come up, come around. I can come all the way around, see that? Boy, it just, there's no ending for the back injuries off of that. Because it, it becomes that it's not just this anymore. See, we think of like hip throws of being just there. But here, I can not only do that, but I can step here and it becomes a one over the other. It's right over my back here now. And searching for pearls, diving down there. Oh, it just torques that. So I would prefer, if I had to work around somebody's body, I would prefer to be closer to that person's body, to be able to strike here, turn in, step here, throw over that back, like that, then the, because you're completely out of range from the person, <coughs> as opposed to being right here in shot. So try it one time. Okay, so you're parring, you're gonna step in, just parry, up, fair lady works the shuttles, but see how far you are away from the body? So when you turn and spin, you wanna come right behind me. Come right behind me and keep, see, you see you weren't touching my body, and that makes the difference in your throw. Okay. If there's a gap this, this far, what do you do to bridge that gap? So if I block here, they come in here, see, look at the gap. I want to come, I want to block and come in here, see. Now I can hit you right there very easily. Our hips are together. I'm touching you all the way up your back. So it's very easy to throw, drop, throw from here. The further you are away from your opponent, so it's sticky body. Stick your body. <coughs> okay, so blocking. Yeah, and turn off now. See? Okay. So that's it. You just want to roll around their body. One more time. From here, here. There you go. And come all the way. See, see, I don't feel anything on my back. And if you were to step, there you go. See, now you, now you can torque that thing right over the back. All right. So that's what you want. When you spin around, you want your back to touch theirs. So you want to go all the way like that. So that you can throw them right over the back or whatever, lock them up or whatever. Okay, you want to switch? So it's blocking here. We turn, Fair Lady works the shuttle. See, I switch hands right there, and that turns me right here. And then you just torque over the, over the back. So right here, when I saw this, and I come in here and I turn, see right here? It comes up and it locks it in there, and then I turn. Okay, so now you turn. So. Okay, so you throw the punch, you parry the, uh, yeah. Where we, no, switch feet. There you go. Okay. okay, so you parry that one first, then this one up. St stepping, turning. Now when you, yeah, see when you, you're going to bridge the gap, so when you spin, you're going to come all the way around behind me. There you go, and hook. 
and try it one more time. Just think about the technique that you're going to come here and come all the way over to that corner. Remember, Fair Lady Works Your Shelters goes to that corner, and that's what will help you get right in behind that person. I don't think I was doing that. I wasn't turning right. that foot very much. That's why I wasn't getting to your back. Right. Okay, so you par. Turning in, step up, slide way over there. There you go. And then you're coming under here? Right. Yeah, you kind of switch the arms. Um, when you're here and you parry and you come here and you turn, see I this see arm? It's swimming. It threads right up underneath there. I see. Okay. It's, okay, I see it swimming. Okay, so block it. Here. Thread. Yeah, there you go. And then, then you're. Right, right there. It's sort of like swimming. I see. The key is how close your body is on that turn. That you turn here, you turn here, and you come in like that. You stay nice and close to the body. If you step out here, it you, you hurt yourself. Okay. Try one more time with the other hand now. Okay. So blocking, slap par. There you go. Okay. Turning. Uh -huh. Some more on my hand. Yeah. You you know when you don't hit it, you know, because you don't feel the person. So you know when you have to, it's really about stepping, see? So if that <coughs> hand comes in, I'm blocking, turning here, see right there? My, I just fall right back to the person. I can, I, my back is against you, and I feel this right here, okay? So it's really about really turning there. Okay, one more time. So let's try on this side so you can. Slap that other hand. There you go. See, that's on the feet. Much better. See, you got to place that foot a little bit more over in there. <clears throat> See, everybody's stopping right here. Stop right in between mine. Doesn't matter on your oh. feet being, is our we doing it from the same side? We're punching out some here. Uh, let's see how it works. Let's see. We, should have, we should have done, we would do that side. Now. See the slap? No. Okay. Slap. So, slapping. How did we, uh, how did we end up like that? We weren't doing the same foot, were we? Yeah, you were punching with the reverse hand. Punching with the reverse hand. So. Yeah, that one works too on the stick stuff. Okay, so I guess we weren't throwing with the, when you were stepping behind. I don't know what yeah, we were switch doing. Feet. That's where we were, swing, we were doing, you were throwing with the reverse hand. Okay, there's my reverse hand. So you're not throwing now. So if you if you did the same idea, so if you were forward with your right foot and I was forward with mine, and you threw that, that's the block here and here and coming in. And doing your doing your turning. Fair lady works the shuttles now, comes in here, pivots, turns, drives up, stepping back, knocking the person off balance, hitting with the hip. Okay, so it just works either on the outside or the inside. So try it one more time on the on the outside again. So we're gonna there you go. And pivot up and come all the way to the, yeah much better much better but see how hard it is when you start to flip because mm -hmm. there's a gap about this much and you're struggling to find that I want to touch you on that I'm worried about stepping I'm real worried about stepping real far back so it's what my so my okay. so here, 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 here they just come here. right so I would want to there you and not worry about it right yeah, you want to stick to that your opponent some way. So if you have to use it in your hips and your back, then you have to stick with that. It's your outside pop. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah, left right. Yeah, concentrate on one one thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay.